Okay, guys, so I went out to uh, what Myers and I bought a new filter for the tank. I took off the old filter. Old filters on that tank. It's not that it's not a bad filter or anything, it's just that there was a smaller filter compared to the other hang on back ones. So it gave me, well, no, it's bigger than the Aquion. So it gives me more space to fit the new one on there. You can see the little hump right there. Oh, I also need a new lid for this tank. Uh, yeah, clean out the tank. I kind of just destroyed the lid and I broke the whole back piece of this one off, as you can see. Oh, you have to look at the filter. Uh, yeah, dropped it right on the gravel vacuum and uh, just the whole thing shattered and went all over my floor and I sweep for like five minutes just to eat all the glass up and it was just little pieces everywhere. It was kind of just horrible. Look at my LG scraper on there now because this tank grows LG like crazy on the glass for some reason. I don't even know why. I got some rocks in there. I had some driftwood in there. I had that one just propped up against the front pane and glass and stuff. And a little, those two Oscars right there seem to like it. They like to hide underneath it at night and uh, during the day. They kind of like to little hang around it. I had some more in there, but it was like stuck. To, they were all underneath the rocks. That's why the rocks were in there to begin with. But they rip, kept ripping them up. And then well, either that when they swim past or the water current would hit it. And then they float back up to the top because they weren't waterlogged yet. So, I just kind of got annoying, and I didn't feel like putting it back in, so I just pick, took them out because they were just cut, catching all the pellets that I'd get to, give to them, and they wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be able to get to the pellets because the sticks were in the way. So, it came, became more of a hassle than anything. So, I just took that out, put that one in there, I propped it between the back pane and the front pane of glass, and so that way it's not out of the water, but it's not really in the bottom, that way they can just kind of... So in between it if they want to, I guess. He keeps redecorating his side of the tank. He's decided that he's the boss of that corner, and they decided that that's their corner. And the Paku just gets kind of the the bottom half, like right in here. Well, the Paku kind of gets like this area in here to swim. These guys take about this section of it, and that guy takes that section of it. That's about how it's usually split up. Doesn't really make me any difference, and it doesn't seem to make them that big of a difference. They don't really fight over territories, really. Because there's really no territories because it's so small of a tank. Which I am going to be getting at 125 hopefully here within the next couple of months. I have I have one picked out and everything. It's just that I have to come up with the money to pay for it. My mom said if I can pay for it, I can have it. So uh, I'm working on that. But as of right now, I'm in the hole negative $20 because I bought that thing. I uh, had $15. It's cost $35. Give my mom $15. I have to go do some work get to cut my neighbor's grasses and stuff and then I'll get 20 bucks for that and then I'm gonna give her 20 bucks and everything after that I'm gonna save up but yeah I got the Cascade 300 from Myers. I've heard a lot of good reviews on this filter um it has the uh, biological and everything and it does 3 gallons per hour it's keeping my water crystal clear it has the bio falls so bacteria can really colonize on that it's like a better version of the Aquions kind of because it really makes it get all the surface um, there is the sponge, like, like a sponge kind of feeling to them, and there's two of them cut in half down the center, and there's proper so you can replace one at a time. And then there's a filter pad that it has so much activated carbon, it's like two, three, to four times as heavy as a normal filter cartridge. It was like weird almost. The adjustable flow rate has a telescoping tube. Um, yeah, it has a nice, real, nice blue um, filter body. I like the filter a lot. Um, between my two favorite filters are probably. The Aquaion 55 to 75 that that I own. I don't. I'm the ones that I'm talking about that I own. Now I'll give you a quick view. I have the Marine Land Bio Wheel, uh, 50 200 gallons per hour without Bio Wheel. Um, yeah, just to fill the cartridge. Uh, Aquaion 55 to 75 with everything uh, stock. Um, this one is the Aqua Tech, I believe. Yeah, Aqua Tech 5 to 15. This has some filter floss in it. I think some activated carbon maybe. I dropped in there. Um, Marine Land Bio Wheel without the Bio Wheel and without the filter cartridge, just some filter floss. Um, as you can see, uh, 150 gallons per hour. It's the 30 gallon version, I believe. Aquion, uh, 950, 950 gallon per hour Wave Maker. Clean it out today. Clean out the tall tank today. Um, I have the Cascade 300, as I just showed you. The Mar Aquion, which has filter floss in it. Um, that is. Actually, oh, I don't have the one filter floss anymore. I just realized that that takes large filter cartridges and that takes large filter cartridges. Durr. I did not notice that until just now. I feel st really stupid now. Uh, that's the Penguin Bio Wheel 350. Uh, no bio wheels. 
And that just says filter floss and then the biological little tray thing that you can see right there. But yeah, um, I just realized that that, that takes large filter cartridges. Because I was like, what am I going to do? It comes with three and that one only takes two. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to buy a six pack. But now obviously I can use it on that. I feel kind of stupid now because I just realized that. I don't know if I will or not though. I got my air bubbler in there just on the low for right now because this guy was breathing a little heavy. His face is all screwed up. I mean, he has like two holes in his uh, face right there. And they don't go in like this. They don't go back like that. They go up into him like this. And it's kind of like weird. So I don't know if maybe like the Paku beat him because he's had a little too sharp teeth in the front. But I doubt it. I hope he's not getting a hole in the head. But I think that's what's starting to happen. Which is really going to make me mad. So I'm going to have to go out and get some medication for him. Because he's one of my favorite Oscars. I've, I've had him the longest. And he has a blind eye. So... I feel bad for him, but, yeah. These guys will hopefully, get, hopefully be getting at least a 125 here coming up in the next couple of months. Um, if it's still available by the time the guy on Craigslist is selling it. And I'd like to get it. Uh, 400 bucks. Uh, yeah. Awesome. But yeah, Cascade 300 is awesome filter in my opinion so far. As you can see, my water's crystal clear. Usually by now, it's cloudy as hell. It's been running for like the filter itself has been running, I think, for like two days, two, three days. Uh, the last time I cleaned out the tank was like four days ago. Um, which is not that long, but usually by now it's starting to get cloudy. And there's a lot of gunk in the bottom, and I stopped feeding beef heart. No more beef heart. It's just pellets. And LG wafers, LG wafers for the Paku, because he's a vegetarian, he won't really touch the pellets. And then the pellets and the uh, cichlid sticks or whatever they're called for the Oscars. Um, yeah, this is an awesome filter. Um, some I think it's offering because it's not Aquion or Marineland or uh, Tetra or um, Fluval and top fin and all those well i mean it actually can probably easily rival if not be better than the aquion in my personal opinion because there's a lot more activated carbon and it has more steps of biological and this biological uh, sponge kind of thing you can, yeah you just see a black you don't even care because you see a black piece but uh i don't know maybe i could take it i don't know let's see oh you yeah, can't set it there i don't want to set it in the water I forgot about that that down there. It's a, it's a small, it's a pretty compact filter. This is kind of like a sponge right here. See this? Let's see if I can't get you to see that. See that? And what I mean is it's split down the center. Um, it does not hold water at all, which is nice. So it's not absorbent. It's like a polishing pad and a biological center in one. It's, supposed, it's meant for biological, but I mean it's like a polishing pad also. This is freaking loaded with activated carbon, if you can see that. I mean, every little... Thing. I mean, this thing is heavy as hell. Let's see how much junk is built up on it so far. Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's just. I mean, this thing is like a, more than a more of a polishing pad than anything. This thing is just like micron filters. Uh, and you can see adjustable flow rates. Oh no, you can't see. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Yeah, see that water level. Adjustable flow rates. Okay. I like mine on high. High is 300 gallons per hour. Um, take this trickle thing out. This really slows down the water flow. I mean, 300 gallons per hour. Yep. I mean, look at that. Oh, easily rivals an Aquion. See, look at this. This thing just really slows it down. And I mean, it really, see how that waviness is? I can't. Let's see if I can get you to see that. See how that waviness is? It really gets the water to touch every little piece and section of it. Oh yeah, I don't. Wanna, I, just, I want to set you down on that. I don't want to drop it in the water. But it really gets you. It really touches every little percent piece of it. So I mean, it gets a lot of biological filtration out of that. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out the future videos. If you watched this far, you obviously like something, so don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, RGLs, thanks for watching.